there, my name is Markella. Just an average 10 year old girl in most regards. I play with my dolls. <laughs> oh, you, you can always get a reservation. I've built a respectable dwelling in Minecraft. I am actually working on a cat room over here, but for some reason none of my cats want to come in. I sing mildly inappropriate songs for my age. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And I hit the mark most of the time when I pick out my own outfits. I have amassed a sizable Beanie Boo collection. And by the way, you're my favorite, Mr. Winkleston. I can get through most of the songs I learned on the piano without any mistakes. I look mildly awkward dancing hip hop. And I enjoy finding a quiet place to reflect on life without any distraction. Georgia, I'm using the bathroom! Go away! But there's one thing that makes me different than most of the peeps I roll with. I have type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, or diabetes mellitus type 1, is a form of diabetes mellitus that results from the autoimmune destruction of the insulin-producing beta cells in the pancreas. The subsequent lack of insulin leads to increased blood and urine glucose. In layman's terms, my pancreas doesn't produce insulin, which is what the body uses to turn glucose into energy to function properly. I've got a glucose meter that helps me monitor how much sugar is in my body, insulin to help me break down those sugars when it gets too high, and glucose pills to help me raise the sugar when it gets too low. The good thing about these tools is that they help me keep my body healthy and working at peak performance. The bad thing is that they're annoying to have to use all the time. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year for the rest of my life. So what does a girl like me need to do to deal with the situation? Resign myself to this feat of needles and blood and math? F that, I'm fighting back. Yesy, there are scientists all around the world trying to crack the code of type 1 diabetes and to find a cure. They're coming up with breakthrough discoveries and treatments all the time. But this kind of research takes mad bank to fund. Science ain't cheap. That's why I work with JDRF, to help fundraise for bankrolling scientists who are always working on a cure. JDRF stands for Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. I have been supporting JDRF since I was five years old. In fact, I'm one of JDRF's youth ambassadors. My role is to go to schools, businesses, and community events to help drum up support for the cause. But my favorite way of supporting JDRF is through participating in their annual Walk for a Cure event. Every year, thousands of people meet all around the world and walk to support JDRF and those living with type 1 diabetes. And they also raise a lot of money. Where I live in Vancouver, BC, they hold the event at Stanley Park, which is an awesome city park downtown. It's a great way to bring awareness and support to the cause of finding a cure. I even started my own team with my family and friends to participate in this event. We call ourselves Team Markella. Okay, maybe not the most inventive name out there, but it works just fine for us. This year, the walk will be held on June 14th at 11 a.m. Come on down and walk with us to help show your support for the cause. Can't make it out? Well, you can always help by going to my fundraising page, jdrfca.donordrive.com, and search for Team Markella. And hey, if you happen to know any billionaires who want to chip in, then forward the page to them too. Let's work together to turn type 1 into type none. <laughs>